Here's Fox News' Dave Spencer. He's live with what neighbors are saying tonight. And Dave, did they see what happened? Yeah, Roop, one of the guys I spoke with was actually inside the house when the car crashed into his home. He said he was pretty shaken up by the whole, whole ordeal, but making matters worse, they're still searching for the driver said to be responsible for the crash in the first place. It was around one Monday afternoon when the crash happened on Detroit's east side. I hear this big bang. I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? Look outside and I see this car, you know, put up against the house. The driver of that silver Chevy Impala, which crashed into that man's house, was driving south on Hayes Street. At the same time, Detroit police say a red Kia came through the intersection near Rochelle Street, slamming into the Chevy. The impact of the crash knocked the silver car across the yard head on into the brick house. He was in bad shape. Yeah. He was. He was in bad shape. Police and other first responders were on the scene within seconds, but unfortunately they could not save the driver. It was later revealed that the red Kia, which allegedly caused the crash, had been reported stolen. The you know, police chasing um, some, some, some guy or whatever, and I'm like, wow. Despite the efforts to track the suspect in the stolen car, that driver got away. The officer stayed on the scene to process it for evidence. As for Chris Caffey, he says the whole scenario has shaken him to the core, putting in perspective how fragile life can be. It makes you uh, sit down and think, you know, try to get your priorities, you know, in order, you know. And just as the sun was going down there out on Hay Street, a pretty sad scene as family and friends of the victim came uh, together for a vigil. We would have showed that to you, but they asked for privacy as they process this terrible tragedy. Reporting live in Detroit, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. And that's very understandable, Dave. But do we know, do police have a description of the person that they're looking for? Any leads at this point? Yeah, none that they're telling us about. Obviously, they took the car from the scene. That's that Kia, that red Kia, but it was reported stolen. So they're not going to get any information from that. They are asking the public for help, though, anyone with information on who might be responsible and where he might be to please give them a call. Yeah, I was, we, as we always say, somebody knows something. Hopefully they'll come forward. Thanks, Dave.